Sí, me di a Villa, pero criticó la Costa con First Charlotte. Eh, Imani, que thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk about the series. I've, lo I've, I've been here season one, so I've been loving everything that I've seen so far. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Charlotte, I want to start with you first. And I, I when I spoke to David, I told him that David, David and David, David and Poppy to me are the most relatable characters from the whole series. I think mm -hmm. people just they they people draw I really get related to them because of their situations. David obviously has his own thing, but Poppy has a lot of things going, including her energy. I absolutely love what the energy that Poppy brings to not that not just the, the whole set, but the, the character. And I wonder how much of that energy, Charlotte, is yours or is it you just following searches for the directors <laughs> or is it just organic? I think that a lot of it definitely comes from me. Would it's you agree? <laughs> it's her. It's exhausting. <laughs> um, no, I think. I mean, I think that the thing that David and Poppy have in common is that they are both flailing through life. Both of them are very ill-equipped to be in the positions that they're in, and yet they persist. I think that's probably what's relatable. That's what I find relatable about Poppy is that she is constantly tripping up. She doesn't know herself. She doesn't know how to communicate with the people around her, but she has something that she's passionate about and that's what drives her. And I think that I try to bring that kind of energy in to set every day as well. I, I love your answer because you just drove me to my second question and I, it's exactly that. I mean, the reason that David and Poppy are so related is because we all are double guessing what we're doing and we're not sure if we are really here. So I wonder if you could talk to Poppy, Charlotte, what would you tell her to make sure that, hey, you, you got it, you got this. What would you tell her? You know, I would maybe say the opposite of that to her. I would say, hey, sometimes you don't got it. And that's okay. You don't always have to be real. the most powerful person in the room. Why don't you take a breath? Why don't you try listening? Maybe not to Ian, but maybe maybe listen to Dana. Mm -hmm. You might learn something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell her to breathe. Imani, yes. I'm coming to you. Uh, both uh, uh, Dana, uh, Charles, uh, Rachel, and, and Dana have a lot uh, have a lot coming for them. A lot of changes are in their life. They're growing up a lot. And I wonder if, uh, same question, but we're coming to your character. If you could talk to your character, what would you tell her with what, she's, what is happening with her professional growth and then her personal growth? What would you tell her that, that she needs to do to handle all the situation? Yeah, what's great about this season is Dana and Rachel are pretty solid. They're solid mm -hmm. and they have a very- Their relationship goals. Their, yeah, their relationship, they are relationship goals. Mm -hmm. They have a very strong foundation. So that's set. With the advice or something I would say to Dana is, you got this girl. <laughs> you got it. I know Poppy and I are a little loco, but you got it. Just keep going. And that's it. And breathe. I would also tell her to breathe yes. because she's ready to pull her hair out. Everyone in this show needs to take a breath. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Well, one final question before I run out of time, and I'm asking everyone because I also cover gaming on my my platform. So I I need to know what are you are you people what are you guys playing if you when you have free time? Why are you playing, or what would you recommend our our viewers, our listeners would would you suggest to play? Yeah, Charlie, you first. I mean, I've made it no secret that I love a farming simulator. Like I really got very into Stardew Valley. I was playing a lot of Animal Crossing during the pandemic. This is not really a new game, but I've been really enjoying playing Overcooked with my mom. Like we, <laughs> like we play on opposite sides of the world and like get on the phone and work on our teamwork skills together. And it's kind of a fun way to hang out when you can't be in the same room. Yes. I, 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 I mean, I agree with you. I also played uh, Animal Crossing and I love Crook. Imani, why are you playing? Why would you play with you? Just? Yes. So I'm a really big Mario Party fan, but what I just finished is A Way Out with my partner mm -hmm. and uh, it takes two. Yeah, it oh. takes two. Yes. yes. Very I need fun. to yes. play that. Yeah. You, you yes. recommended that one to me. Yeah, they're both I great. They're both great. Honest. It takes two, one game of the year. So it's a perfect game. Yeah. Again, the two of it, I mean, everybody's doing perfect on the season. Hopefully th three more seasons. And I, I, I hopefully we can get. Thank you for taking a little time and, and congratulations once again. Thank, Thank you. you.